Hello everyone and welcome to Test Run. I'm your host Code Marvelous and today I'm joined by Dave Hoyland, otherwise known as Cerberus Online, a third place Worlds 2015 finisher. Hi guys. Go ahead and say hi. <laughs> and uh, today we're going to be piloting the Ken Tenma deck that you saw us build yesterday in the Dirty Laundry segment and see how we can do against our random person on Jinteki. So what do you think are going to be some of the key piloting aspects that we're going to need to focus on as somebody who's played a lot of criminal? So, I mean, it'll very much depend on what we're playing against, but, I mean, I quite, as criminal, one of the, the key things for me against a lot of decks is um, creating a remote threat, um, because it's with remote threat that criminal kind of come alive. They've got legwork, they've got sneak door, you know, obviously in this deck we're just running the legworks, but if we can create enough of a remote threat, um, either because we've hit them with siphon, therefore they don't feel like they've got enough money to go for a score, or whatever the case may be, then um, that's when agendas start to pile up in hand. So, that's, that's the thing to aim for, I think. I think that's true. Alright, so we're going to be playing against a random person off of Jinteki.net. They do know that they're being recorded. So let's give it a go and see how we do. Alright, so first things first, um, I think we keep this, but what do you think? Yeah, it looks, it looks okay. Um, <clears throat> it's got enough econ. Um, it's got something to pressure the early remote, and I think we just see what we draw. Um, so, Soul's going to be interesting. So, that's probably Glaciary. So, but you could end up with a, against anything. And we might see our siphons turned off by um, targeted marketing. Yeah, that's true. Alright, so I think we... Um I think we hedge, or not hedge, sure gamble, then face check HQ. So, okay, why are you face checking HQ? Because at the moment we've got no HQ threat. Okay. So, so. I, I would be tempted to, this turn, I mean, planning out my turn, I think I want to draw this turn, because I can see three things in my hand which I want to do. I want to gamble, I want to play the t public terminal, and then I want to play the dirty laundry before archives get iced, um, because that's a massive credit swing for us. So, okay. let's draw. But, but you want to draw first, see what we get. Okay. okay, so that's interesting. I think I still do the same thing. So we hit that, yep, we hit that, all. and then we, we dirty that. laundry. Yep, then we dirty laundry the archives. And already, that dirty laundry cost us nothing. Yeah, so... We're going to be very dependent on what we draw. Okay. So... Interesting. Draw, click one? Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Um, I think we draw again. <laughs> All right. Um, so I, def I definitely want to play the Desperado. Um, other than that, I don't think we have. I don't want to run last click, so I think we draw again. Fair. Okay, that's good. If we can get a special order or an, or the Eater, then having the forks turns on a lot of really cool plays. Um, you know. We get, we can, means we can get rid of things like um, news hounds and all that sort of stuff before they become really painful. Right. Though we do also have to be careful with the fact he's got something like 18 credits. Alright, so I'm going to draw a click one. Alright, hmm. so, so we have a duplicate of Desperado. Maybe we should have run two, like you said. <laughs> um, so, he's being sensible and protecting. I think we draw again. Alright, so now we've got a passport in there. Yep. 
Um, I mean, I don't think we're going to die. Um, should we run R&D? Sure. I mean, we need to spend, make them spend some money. Archangel. All right. So, do we respond to the trace or let them pump, put something back into our hand? So, it's going to be... Okay, it's going to cost us six credits. Alternatively, we can... But that's reduced by one because of Desperado. And, obviously, we've got to replay it, so it kind of goes back up to six. Or we could just pay it. Mm. Oh, we could just replay Desperado. Mm. I think we just pay it. But I'm I'm not fussed either way, really. I don't think it matters too much. Okay. Uh, last click. Put down the last public terminal. Yeah. And then pitch the extra copy of Desperado. Yep. Our hand is chock full of nuts of great run events, though. And like we were discussing when we were building the deck, though, was, right, does it have enough um, economy? So we've had a really good economy start. Um, and all our run events are basically now free. So the legwork, the inside job, all that sort of stuff. Brilliant. All right. So sure. what do we want to do here? Draw, because we need more economy. Yes. Not economy. We've got a siphon. Probably worth running. Interesting. Okay, we've got one click remaining. I think you just take credit. Alright, we have to pitch two cards. So, definitely the legwork. Because we've, we've got, got two more. Yeah, we've got three in the deck. Um, we're real low on credits. Um, I don't think we can drop the... I definitely want to keep the spooned. Probably the forked. So, the way I've always understood it is, is we should run there, get him to res the ice, and then use the inside job, right? So, what do you reckon that is? I think he's hoping we're not holding an inside job. I think okay, it's an well, agenda. Which one? Probably an NAPD. Okay. So... We're going to need, if, if we think it is, we're going to need to take two credits and then inside job. So we've got a spare click, so we could run it. Um, and as long as it's not something stupid like a data bike, we'll be fine. Okay, so do we click for the credits first to threaten it so that when we run, he is more likely to res? I think we just. So, okay. If it is, a, as an example, an enigma, then we can't get it. Right. Enigma is probably worst case scenario. Uh, I don't know. I might be tempted just to inside job it. Right from the beginning after getting the money? Yeah, I'd go credit, credit, inside job. That felt pretty good. Yeah. All right, gain a credit. So it's not great, but you know we need some economy. So if we saw something like a Katie soon, that would be pretty ideal. Playing, 
paying no money and, and to play that inside job felt pretty good though. So, I think we definitely draw. Ugh. <laughs> Do we check that server? Yeah, go for it. Pretty kind of, bad. Yeah. Could be worse. That's still a lot of money for him. Alright, I guess uh, click for two credits. Yeah. Maybe those security test things aren't a terrible idea. Yeah, it would have forced him to his archives for sure. Do you think he's going for the over advanced Beal score? Or maybe that's a food? Probably a food, I'd guess, but then I don't think we can do a lot about it considering it's probably an Ash in the remote. Right, so let's draw. Mm hmm. Come on, Mutt. Uh. Do we hit it again? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Woo. All right, so we've got the Katie on the table now. We have to pitch something. I think, unfortunately, it it probably should. It probably needs to be the mimic. Yeah, go for it. Cause we're, gonna we're need seeing a, a lot anyway. of code gates, right? And we're, we're seeing a lot of code gates. All the res dice is code gates. So, this is something I was um, I've been discussing with the. Uh, Elad recently. Um, oh, look at that. It was the over-advanced Beal. So he's only one, one credit, so that's not terrible. Uh, it gives us a bit of time. So you were saying something you were talking to Elad recently? Yeah, yeah, about the problem with criminal. Um, and one of the top things that um, I came up with was criminal's code gate breaker. So basically, without having David or having access to something like Cyber Cypher, um, high strength code gates are just too expensive for co uh, criminals to deal with, um, especially things like Architect, not Architect, uh, Archangel. Right. Um, so, right, we need to start killing some of this stuff. So, um, so yeah, I think we just put that down, use KT, take a credit. Um. I definitely agree with that. Um, I was actually played against recently a Geist deck that used his breakers and then supplemented it with Endless Hunger because uh, all four of Geist's MU is usually empty. Yeah. What? Okay, so if if this was me now, I would, I would be thinking that the perfect thing to put in that remote is an Astro because that would put me on five points. Um, and then I can just fast advance out of hand. Right. It's only a maybe, but that's pretty big maybe. So what we could do is take money off KT inside job it. Um, how many credits? So he's going to rate. So he'd have two credits to res Ash, and then maybe one credit to boost it to trace five. Um, so we probably wouldn't have enough money to trash the ash. We could if we clicked for creds. And it's just going to taking KD money. Yeah. Mm -mm, don't forget you've got the same old thing, so that's two. That's true. All right. So do we do do we do that play? I don't think he'd install anything else. I mean, unless it's a Jackson to help him draw. Um, but uh, at the moment, I mean, he's got a scoring opportunity, right? Right. Sure. Let's do, let's do it. So don't forget. Yeah, it's getting okay. Oh, to be fair, we're going to get one from Ken. I mean, 
if we kill an ash. It's not terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't rest the ash. Alright, so do we draw? Yep. It's good, but uh It's not it's what problem. we need right now. Do we wanna KD up? Yeah. KD up. Drop the passport, click for credits. What do you think? Uh, I'm kind of tempted. To, uh, yeah, uh, just I I would have said let's just ditch the passport and just take money. All right. We're we're running the true criminal way where we have no uh, breakers down. On turn 11. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's draw. Yeah. Yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, probably a little bit too late. So economy seems a bit light, or we've had a bit of a ropey draw, considering we've seen most of our breakers and no econ. Um, so we, we want to land a siphon. I think. So I think we want to put. I think we want to. A knife doesn't seem to be great at the moment. Um, Maybe we drop eater, click Katie, and then click from Bucks. I was thinking more. We should probably fem that toll booth, unless we're going to kill it. We can't fem it this turn, though. No, not this turn. So, I think we need to hit Katie at some point this turn. Yeah, let's definitely definitely do that. Alright. No, maybe you're right. Let's drop Eater. And then credit, credit. Because if we can start peeling ice back... We can start feeling like we're in this game. Yeah, double, t double toll booth plus Archangel has been pretty horrific. Interns on the Ash. Interns in Jackson Howard. Maybe he's flooded then. Or maybe he wants the agenda. Alright, so that's his turn. Okay. So, I. Th what do we want to do here? Do we want to um, take the money, spoon the toll booth? I oh, know, then we're not going to have enough money to break it. No, we'll still have enough money to break it. And then run back in to HQ? How we. Because um... we'll go up to nine. We'll get one from being Ken to go up to ten. We'll lose three going down to seven. Then we need uh, four to break. Cool. Mm-hmm. It leaves, leaves us very low. I mean, his next turn is going to be draw maybe install, right? Right. Or do we gear up for... No, I think we wait a turn. So, stall, yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, I play that. We can't. Know. Okay. Uh, credit, credit. And then we pitch the what? Knife. The knife. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking as well. But we do have. That... We, we are threatening a lot of money now. He is digging like a madman. I think he's starting to maybe go a little on tilt because he hasn't been able to uh, find a current yet. What is he going to name? Probably Siphon. 
Is he sensible? Yeah. But that's not even... That's still not the end of the world for us. Cool. All right. So... Take the KD money, place your gamble, spooned HQ. Yep. Uh, do we break it? Yeah, we gotta break it. Yeah. But we don't break the end of the run subroutine because we're not getting an access anyway. I think we draw. So weirdly, siphoning him next turn is probably actually quite good. Do we check that card? Since we got Desperado? Yeah. Do, no. we, trash, do we trash that? No, leave it? No. I think we're going to have to give him a load of money to kickstart our economy. Okay, so do we account so, siphon? No, I think we wait until he goes for he goes to score. I don't it's probably the sensible thing to do. Alright, let's draw one more. So we wanna use K two, we probably wanna play the daily cast, so yeah, we've got a spare, so we wanna draw. So yeah, we should probably that was probably bad play. We should have drawn first. Yeah. I'm if nothing else, this is a very interesting deck. We're also poised to put down the surprise fam on the remote toll booth. Mm-hmm. Up, oh, he's gearing up for it. All right. So, do we trash the pad now that he's resident, or do we? You think we leave it? If we siphon him, he's gaining, you know, five credits anyway. Yeah, I guess that's true. All right. So, do we maybe do the dirty laundry on archives to see if we can get a res and force the Jackson pop? How many un how many face down cards? Two. He's got four credits. So we probably want to play Dirty Laundry. We we'll probably want to load KT. Okay, so let's draw first. That's interesting. Feels like we want to get that peacock down this turn. Okay. The reason being is if there's another code gate on that remote, we want to have the ability to break it. I mean, there's a good chance one of them's a wraparound, which is massively problematic. Um, do we want so to draw once more and then click Katie? I think we dirty laundry the pad for now, um, and and then use Katie.
now that we've got the KD down, the, uh, the economy is actually pretty okay. We just need all of our breakers. We haven't seen a special order yet, it, it's worth noting. Yeah, so the public terminals are actually doing quite a lot of work. Yeah, they're not they're not bad, and they go down cheap. He's got to be holding multiple agendas in his hand. Mhm. Mm All right, so let's draw. Yep. Oh my god. All right. That's kind of perfect. Do we special order for Corroda? Install Corroda, use KT. So then, whatever he puts in that remote. He knows we can threaten it. Mm hmm. Well, depending on what this new piece of ice is in front of HQ, I mean, yeah, he's definitely going to have the money to res it, but unless it costs us 10 credits, 11 credits to get in, uh, 12 credits because we can, you know, um, we're going to be making a profit on it. We've got, what, 15 credits? We kind of need more because of the um, of the fem. But we, if we use uh, Katie this turn, you know, that's a lot of money. Yeah, so I think that's the right play. Let's get Corroder, because we need that. Let's drop it. I believe mm -hmm. in you. I believe in you, Jinteki. Don't crap out on me now. All right, and then click that sweet Katie money. Yeah, we're in full, like, set-up criminal threat mode. Yeah, I'd actually like to see another same old thing so we could start replaying some of these... Um... The cutlery that we pitched. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the draw to start with is a bit... a bit off, in the sense of we... S uh, it's not terrible. Why is again? he not trying to score? Is it lack of money? He might be worried sick. He he's, looks like he's playing a lot of big ice. Well, relatively. And then, mm. you know, some news hounds to back them up. Um, Do I draw again? Yeah, I think so. There you are, late to the party. So, um, I think we definitely want to use KT... And I think, I think we pro Go ahead. I was going to say, there's no point. I'm not. I don't think we want to dirty laundry. I'd rather have click spare, just in case. I think we put down symmetrical visage and click Katie. Sounds good to me. Because we've been doing a lot of draw in this game. Might as well get one credit for doing it. So far, I'm enjoying the deck, though. It's definitely a more thoughtful um, deck. But that might just be somewhat the newness. Hmm. Okay, so he's got a load of money now. So I don't think it really matters if we siphon him. I'm not saying we are going to, but I mean, does it matter? Ooh, same old thing. So he's got more money than us, however. So, what do you reckon to the Dirty Laundry, then, on Archives? Or, or maybe even on the pad, actually, to see if he's willing to, to res that pad ice. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, could be a news and but it doesn't really matter. We can't, we just don't lose out from this. Sure, so, cost us three. Cost us four, unfortunately. Oh yeah, it's, it's got, got two, two subs. Sub. Okay, but that that gains us what? Six, seven it, credits? It, uh, it nets six. us two credits, I think. Plus Ken. Oh yeah, you're right. So yeah, it wasn't terrible. So it cost him two, gained us three. Sure. <laughs> um. Drop same old thing, click Katie. Yeah, go for it. So this is probably worth noting, this is the point 
on Katie where I get a bit uneasy and I would probably start taking money off. Right, what, in case they drop like a snatch and grab? Yeah. We still haven't seen our copy of Makers either. No, that, that will plan assault. That's not unheard of, right? I mean, how many cards are we in? Uh, uh, that's loads, actually, yeah. I think uh, we're getting set up for a pretty good legwork turn. <laughs> yeah. We need that Fem down first, and it's an expensive one. Like, cause the, We haven't even seen the fairies, and the fairies would be great. All right, so agenda down. I think it's time to pull the trigger, right? All right. So I think it's worth mentioning that it's very likely an oh, it's an advanced card. It's probably another NAPD. Yeah. Hmm. I'm very uneasy about giving him the. Um, another scoring opportunity so but yeah um, okay I think we just gotta go for it so we take the money so Fem the toll booth oh, hold on we definitely want to fem the toll booth and we definitely want a spare click to rerun mm, I think hmm okay yeah Let's do that. I think we leave the click in between um, the first run and, if we ne if necessary, the second run, um, depending on what happens. The in case we want to siphon, so we make him raise all this stuff, then we siphon him, which gives him a bit more money. But if we need extra money, we can do that. Might not be needed. Galahad, so there will be no second run. Not Galahad. Hmm. Another thing that crim. Oh no, we can break it. Um. But then we can't access. Right. If we break it, we can't access. So I think we just carry on. Yeah. Could be a caprice. Oh, it's a caprice. All right, so we're playing rock paper scissors. What do you think? Let's go zero. Ah, oh, brilliant! We got it. <laughs> People are like, "Oh, he spent loads of money. He'll never um, bet zero. Yeah, bet yeah. zero." No, yeah, that's very uh, low risk and, of him. And since we can't do anything, we'll just draw and gain a credit. And we got ourselves <laughs> a makers. Yeah, it's still expensive though. That archangel is uh, pretty painful. Yeah, it's pretty pretty rough. <laughs> Did he change? I can't he's, see because of... it's still it's still account siphon is what he's named. Cool. He, mu he must have a load of... A I'm actually... T do we use the same old thing for the legwork? We could. I think he's we draw got, first. Yeah, but he's got to be holding agendas. Like... Mm -hmm. How many cards has he got left in his deck? Um, 20. 20. So, and we've seen, what, five points? It's very taxing on us. So let's draw first, because it makes us money anyway. Yeah. So do we want to just do the legwork? We're running three, right? Yeah. Do we want to draw once more, see if we get it, and then if we don't, use the same old thing? I want to use KT. We're going to burn quite a lot of money if we have to run through that new sound or that archangel. We need to keep up money. Right. Alright, so we'll click Katie. 
Le and then, do you recommend right. Lego? Yeah, what's... Inside Job is a real important card um, because of the uh, Excalibur. Right. So do we just see if we draw it, and if we don't draw it, we don't do it this turn? Yeah, let's draw. Huh. Okay, I think we draw again because we can ditch the baby. Okay. That's pretty good. That gives us a lot of options. Yeah. Inside job, same old thing. Inside job room. Yeah. So, uh, I think we want to draw with baby, and if we don't see what we want, we might have to plan the salt for the uh, legwork. He's on 21 credits, though. I don't like it. Alright, so let's draw. Alright, let's do it. Yep. We've got a lot of money. And there's nothing he can res. Yeah, that's but that's very expensive for us. It's worth it. I mean, we could just win. Right. It's uh, it's only it's only not can. worth it if we don't win. We've made a misplay. Sorry, I just realized. Why is that? It's not terrible, but it was a bad play. We should have run archive. Oh, there you go. We we should have run archives. <laughs> we should have run archives in case um, in case he left any there. Uh, he he already used. Uh, I knew that uh, there okay. was there was no That's face fine. downs in archives. That's what I was worried about. If he'd left any. No, I knew because when he preemptively used it, I hovered over it. He had no face downs. Yeah, so we just won. Yeah, that's fine then. So, I mean, I think he probably had a scoring opportunity a bit earlier on in the game. Right. Um. But he, if he'd score, I mean, if he'd had an Astro to score, then I think that would have been pretty bad for us. That's true. Yeah. Um. The economy didn't come online very quickly. But that might have been draw order. Yeah, we saw we saw all of the cutlery, didn't we? Before we saw. Um, Kind of much economy, but I mean the public terminals did some good work. Um, Katie, kind of, or Katie, or just kind of ticked us over. So I don't know. It feels like maybe you need another. It's right. It's it's one game, right? But like from this game, one one, one more. Away. Yeah, one one economy card would have been nice. One more in the deck. Um, inside job is pretty amazing. I mean, this is a probably you know one of the worst matchups for us in regards to ice. If you look, the archangels with um, peacock are what seven to break, six to break, six to break. Um, the toll booths are se seven to break, including their cost. Yeah. Um, so. And then the news hounds with a with a fem, which is the, or which we we never drew a fairy with a fem, um, you know that's six credits. So that is hideously expensive for us. Um, so I'm not surprised our economy felt taxed. Right. Yeah. I mean, but the public terminals definitely pulled their weight, which was something that I was concerned. Maybe they wouldn't pull their weight. Um, and yeah. I mean, eater is eater. It does great things. Yeah, it, it it definitely felt better than Faust in this matchup. Obviously, we didn't have any drug dealers or anything to support it. Um, but, but cards yeah, are our power. Like our yeah. events are our power. We don't want to be pitching them to get in. So one of the things as well is we had we saw what two same old things. We scored one on the board, um, and we've got double siphon in hand. So okay, the game went on quite long, but. If we'd double siphoned, triple siphoned, whatever, um, without the targeted marketing in play, then actually our economy was probably very good. Right, and we would have stomped all over them even with really inefficient breakers. Yeah. So 
yeah. the breakers are, are definitely inefficient. If we'd had a bit more money, and that might be the thing, is we need money and then the cutlery to kill off the the big ice. Um, but if you imagine this was HB and we could click through some of the, the ice rather than pay money, then that would have been very strong. Um, That's true. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Yeah, so, I, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I think it's an interesting starting point, and I think uh, it's definitely uh, something that I'm going to keep practicing and see what we get with it. But yeah. Dave, thank you very much for, for joining me. I really appreciate uh, the piloting tips. Every time I have somebody like you on the uh, channel, I'm always really excited because I learned a lot from listening to your decision-making process, you know, and your click management. Yeah, it's, it, it's planning out your turn. So, you know, what, whenever I'm talking to kind of, you know, my metamates and they're saying, you know, what, what do I do to improve? It's like, well, plan out your turn. Because even, even then we were doing stuff and I'm like, why didn't we draw first? You know, we ran the remote and then we drew a card and then we drew a dirty laundry and it's like, Right. If we'd drawn the dirty laundry first, we could have just dirty laundried it, right? right. Um, that would have been way more efficient. Um, so, stuff like that's very important. But also, you know, I was saying at the start of this, that one of the, the key tips is create remote pressure. Um, and if you do create remote pressure, then agendas build up in hand. And that's what happened in this exact game. So, it's kind of ideal. Yeah, proof of concept. Well... Everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Test Run. You can find Anar Black Hats on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. You can find Dave on Twitter as well as uh, Cerberus Dave and also on the winning agenda. Uh, Dave, again, thanks very much for coming out. Thanks very much for having me. Yep. Take care, guys. We'll catch you next time.